सो इनामल इज द टिश्यू विच कवर्स द क्राउन पोर्शन ऑफ द टूथ दैट इज द इंटायर सर्फेस ऑफ क्राउन इज कवर्ड विद सब्सटेंस दैट इज कॉल्ड द इनामल नाउ इनामल इज द हार्डेस्ट बायोलॉजिकल टिश्यू इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम एक्टोडम दैट इज इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम एपिथीलियम and uh, the cells that secrete enamel are called the ameloblasts as seen in the previous videos these are the ameloblasts which secrete enamel inside of them the enamel once eroded or abraded it cannot regenerate because after the formation of enamel is complete the ameloblasts degenerate or shrink in size and they are no more functional to secrete enamel enamel is also non vital that is it is acellular and avascular that is no cells are present and no vascularity is present that is no blood vessels or capillaries are present physical properties so the color is yellowish white to grayish white and the thickness varies and it is maximum at the cuspal region for example this is a molar so in the cuspal region the thickness of enamel will be maximum it is brittle that is it can can be broken and it is semi permeable that is substance can seep through the surface of enamel for example the fluorides chemical properties so the enamel is composed of inorganic and organic parts inorganic means it is derived from the minerals organic means it is mainly composed of carbon hydrogen and oxygen so inorganic content is 96% which is the reason why enamel is so hard in its nature organic component is 4% the inorganic part mainly consists of calcium phosphate in crystalline form see this is the formula of calcium phosphate which is ca3po4 whole twice and when we convert it into a crystalline form that is add water the name here we get is hydroxy apatite crystals some other minerals are present in small quantities that is sodium magnesium and phosphorus organic part we have three components that is amelogenins non amelogenins and some quantity of water so amelogenins are some proteins that are secreted by the ameloblasts and non amelogenins are some protective proteins which are present on the outer surface of uh, the tooth in very small quantities uh, which is eroded when the tooth comes into function